Kia ora, Helen Ramsey coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling Serenity Sunday. Yes, that day of the week where we get to sit back and go, ah. So how was your Serenity Sunday? What did you get up to today? Before we get into all of that, if you're watching us on YouTube, please click the like button, subscribe, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification button if you want to know when we add in new videos each day or How's your Serenity Sunday been? Has it been nice and relaxing? What did you get to do? Did you get to go visit with family and friends? Did you get to go try new places today? Um, did you unplug? Did you just kick back and relax? And what? Um, you know, what did you get up to today? So um, we've had a very for a Serenity Sunday, we've had a very busy day. We had our late start because we normally sleep in on Sundays, which is till. 6 30. <laughs> Some of you going, that's not a sleeping. For somebody who wakes up before five, it's a sleeping. Um, and we got up, got dressed, went out for a walk and everything else. Um, did the Facebook Live as we were leaving the campground to go for our Sunday drive. Um, our Sunday drive is um, we go to the gate and we go left or right or straight ahead. Well, actually, we can either go left or right. So we make the option. We went left today and then we went. Through, straight ahead through the next light and then we turned left at the next one and followed that all the way down till it came to a tender section we went across and it's like oh this goes into a shopping center had a look around where's a burger king we're going to burger king for breakfast so we pulled into the drive through um got breakfast and went and sat in the parking lot and ate that um and then we went off on our drive and we went north a little further then we started going east and then we went west a little bit, then we went south a little bit, and then we went west again. And we finally ended up on Bell Road, which is one of the main roads close to us. And um, and I knew that we needed to get dog food for Zephy. So off we went to PetSmart and um, went in there. And uh, we haven't been, oh, the only last time we were in PetSmart was to drop her off at Banfield for her, for her physical. And that was basically step inside the door and they were to the right. Um, this time we actually went into the store and we haven't been in a PetSmart store in a long time. Um, so it was kind of cool going in there, you know, leash in one hand, shopping cart in the other. <laughs> Off to get her food. They had, this one was completely laid out, completely different to any other PetSmart we've been in. Finally found her food. They had the right bags and everything. It's like, yay. Um, we did get her a new harness as well. Because one she's got, it covers a lot of her body, and I'm concerned about when we're out in the evenings about the heat. So I got one that's similar to what she has, but not as much body coverage and still has the padding. So when we're in the car driving, it will be a little cooler for her, um, rather than having the one that we have that basically wraps around her chest and her back. Um, this one's going to be a little cooler for her. There's not as much, there's still the padding there, which is good. Um, also got her a new collar as well. I haven't done anything with those yet. Um, but her collar matches her new harness and her new leash. And, well, we didn't get her a new leash, but the leashes we've already got. And um, then we went to the toy section, of course, and we got some treats along the way. Then we went to the toy section because whenever I take Zephy to PetSmart for shopping, we always go down the toy aisle and pick out a couple of toys. And so we came back, so we got all of that done, came back and um, bought her inside, got her all settled, got all the growth, got all of her food stuffs inside, um, put the bags from PetSmart where I thought they would be safe because I thought I have to go out to Michael's. So I'm just going to set her up with a video like I normally do, um, make sure she's got plenty of food and water, and then I'm going to shoot off to Michael's and come back again. And Michael's happens to be in the same shopping center as PetSmart, um, so of course I had to go back. But it's only like about a 10-15 minute drive from here to get to there. Um, so I... <laughs> Um, put on my cousin Vinny and um, left at 11.15 and I was back at just after 12. So I thought that wasn't bad considering the fact I walked the entire store at Michael's. So I went to Michael's um, and I got, because I remember I said I had to go get a beading kit. Well they didn't have much, many options but I did end up with this one which you can make like seven bracelets out of it because that's one of my, that's my, that was my challenge from last week was to make um, a beaded brace to make it learn how to make a beaded bracelet so this has got beads and stuff in it and uh, so we'll see how that goes and I have my 20% off coupon so that made it even cheaper you like those 20% coupons <laughs> and, then I, and and I actually walked around the entire store just to get an idea of where everything is since it's the closest Michael's to me 
Um, one thing I didn't see, which I was wanted to go and have a look at, was baskets. Um, because there's some areas that I want to put, you know, we're sitting here for a bit, so I want to put some baskets out with stuff in, so it doesn't look as cluttered. But there were no baskets anywhere. They usually have this big basket section, and they normally have baskets on sale, and um, all the different baskets on sale. But they had nothing, no baskets. And um, so I came home, and uh, before I left, I had spread little training treats around the RV like I normally do. It keeps her occupied um, while I head out the door. <laughs> came back on and um, my cousin Vinny was on and it was um, they were up to the scene where um, well they had the train coming through at 5 a.m. in the morning yeah so about uh, just about halfway through because it's an almost two-hour movie and I got back just under um, just under an hour so um, I thought I did pretty good and as I'm coming up the steps I went well somebody found the bag because laying on the floor was one of the new toys we had purchased. And this is called, um, I can't remember what it's called, but this is what she got. I know, it doesn't look very attractive and all that. But it's designed to be ripped apart and pulled to pieces by a dog. Because inside here, and, and I'm not squeaking, oh, hang on, here she comes. <laughs> hang on, i got to move over so she can come up. Come on, up you come. come on. Good girl. Is this yours? Are you going to sit? Good girl, are you going to sit with Mama? Good girl. <laughs> Inside this is actually, but it's another toy. It's an actual squeaky toy inside the, inside the, the belly, and it's got a squeaker in the head as well. So it was laying on the floor, tag still on it. It's got plastic in the wings to give you the crinkle noise. <laughs> Here you go. You're going to fall off if you keep pulling it. Here you go. <laughs> and she's off. <laughs> I hit the squeak. All I did was put it up. Now we're going to hear that. Photo. But it's got an actual um, ring toy, a ring, a ring squeaky toy in the middle of it as part of the torso. So it's designed to be ripped apart um, for that reason. And <laughs> so I thought that was pretty. But it was laying on the floor. The tags were still on it. So I thought, okay, so I took all the tags off and um, she kind of played with it for a little bit. And yes, she did pick out that toy. It was one of two or three that she picked out. Um, yeah, we tend to go a little overboard with toys. But then a lot of toys in her toy box are needing replacing anyway. So now I can quietly start just sneaking out the ones that we can get rid of. And she will have um, new toys to replace the old ones. Um, but yeah, so she had gone and helped herself with that. So we sat down, relaxed, watched the rest of my cousin Vinny, um, watched the next one episode or two episodes of, oh, actually, no, I started falling asleep because I'm watching an episode called Gil Mayo, who's uh, it's a British detective thing. But this is really cool. So in this one here, it's kind of a comedy as well. Um, but in this one here, they're plainclothes police who go into a, into a um, where a murder has been committed. But they bring a fifth wheel RV, which has the police markings all over it. And inside, they have it set up where they have the boardroom or the interview room is up in the upstairs portion over top of the, um, the towing hitch. And then the rest of it is set up to be their office slash lab because they have a forensic person with them um, who can do certain tests and all of that sort of thing there on site. So the, they actually move the RV and the fifth wheel in place on site and use that as their base while they're investigating the crime that took place or the murder that took place and they lock it up every night and head off home and then come back the next day so it's kind of cool um watching them that and it's kind of a little bit of a humor got a little bit of humor in there as well so um i got part way through um, episode eight and i was sort of like oh, i need a nap so i went and took a couple hour nap and zephy didn't move she was like worn out she had been for her walk that morning she'd been we've been for a Couple of hours, drive for a couple of hours. I'd been out to Michael, so of course she fretted about that. Um, and so she basically hasn't moved until I sat down to do this live. And then she started getting up and moving around. And as soon as I held her toy up, you saw what happened. Um, but one thing I forgot to tell you about yesterday, because this arrived in my mail yesterday when I went to get the mail. But um, this come laser engraved too, and I'm super excited because I love, I love, 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 love bamboo cutting boards. And I haven't been able to find one that fits sparkles, but I have now. Look at this. And it's got sparkles engraved on the bottom of it. Laser engraved sparkles. 
So this is like the perfect size. It will fit um, in a place in the cupboard there because um, the one I have is a lot bigger and I can't get it, even on its side, I can't get it in any cupboard on the RV um, unless I lay it flat. And of course, then you've got to move everything that's on top and it's a big hassle. So my big bamboo board is in storage. But now I have a little cutting board that's got sparkles on it so I know where it belongs, just so we all know where it belongs. <laughs> so yeah, so I was super happy about that. Um, and then after I came back after my nap and that, I just started doing some genealogy research and I just had this inkling to go looking. Um, and now they have a new feature on Ancestry when, when you go into the DNA section and you see people who, um, who they suspect are related to either um, like the first cousin level, second or third cousin and so forth, you can actually click on the person's name and um, when you click on the person's name, you can now put whether it's mother's, mother's side, father's side or both and then you click on one of those and then it asks and because it thinks it's first cousin, like with my aunt, it said that she was my first cousin. So when I went in, it gave me aunt, parent, no, aunt, grandparent or first cousin. So I was able to click on aunt and then it put that next to the relationship with the next name. So I've been going through doing the ones I know, which has been kind of cool because, um, and, and I don't know if that, if, if people doing that is going to help Ancestry um, make their matches better with the um, the DNA results or not. But it'll be interesting to see. Um, but it's a new feature and I don't know how long it's been out because I haven't been into the DNA section for a while. Um, but it's kind of cool. And I've got this one person there that it says it's like a second cousin. And um, I'm trying to find him right now. <laughs> I know he is in my tree. I just And it has part of his tree there and then it goes to private. And I'm not sure if that private person is his parents. Or if that if that private person is him, so I'm trying to figure that out right now. Um, but I'm trying, yeah, you know, like I said, trying to figure that out. Um, but yeah, it's been a it's been a fun day. So um, been sitting here just doing genealogy research, and then my my laptop suddenly went. It's 19 hours because it pulls off the hours. I completely missed the 18 one and all of that. But I also got a text message from my friend to say that my license plates have arrived for my car. So Bluebird's plates have arrived, and we're just now to trying to figure out how to hook up so I can get my plates from her. Um, which is pretty cool because they, they um, the tags on the car actually expired yesterday. Um, but they told me when I purchased the car that the DMV is very far behind is behind in, um, in um, doing the license plates and stuff. And all the Arizona cops know this. You just got to keep all the paperwork in the car and I have the title for the car. Um, and so, um, yeah, now I've got the plates have arrived. Yay! They actually arrived. So they would have arrived in probably yesterday's mail, which was the day that my ones on my car expired. But um, so my friend told me that they're there and we're just trying to hook up so I can meet up with her and, um, and get my plates. So that'll be fun, which is cool because I got a new light. I got a license surround, license plate surround to go on there, which is all sparkly um, because I didn't like the dealer one on there. I don't like advertising dealers. <laughs> I mean, the dealer I had was really good. Um, the guy that I had who helped me purchase this car was really, really good. Um, but they're not paying me to advertise, so I don't want their advertisement on my car. So I went and got um, Sparkle license plates. So it's got a, a Sparkle license around. So um, it's pretty cool, but it's over there in the box right now. But anyway, we've had a, we've had a really cool day. So now we're about to go for WALK. Um, and although Zephy is now quite happily laying in her bed, oh, that was one thing I got for her too, was a cooling blanket. And I threw it on the floor the other night when I unpacked it, and within two minutes she was on it, like laying on it. And um, so I got her to do some, you know, sits and all that sort of thing on there, and uh, and she did. And then I threw it into her bed with her one that's kind of got like sheepskin type um, covering on it. And uh, I thought, that's going to be really hot for her. So I threw the cooling blanket into that yesterday. So she had both. And then today I just slipped the, the warmer one out and threw that on the couch in a pile on the couch. But she's been sleeping up there in the bed on the cooling blanket. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, but she likes it. That one she likes. She doesn't like the cooling pads, but she likes the cooling blanket. And last night she was in, in her bed. 
And she was laying there, and I says, are you going to go to bed here? And I says, come on, it's time to go to bed. And she just, like, put her head back down, and so she's going to go to sleep. So I just got the cooling blanket and just tossed it over her. And um, it was probably about 30, 40 minutes before she came back, before she came into bed, because I was laying there reading. But anyway, so that's it from us for today. We're off to go for WALK, come back and have some dinner, and um, just relax for the evening. And we are ready for the week. The planner has been um, mapped out for the week. The calendar is all up to date. Um, it's going to be another busy week with things that are packed in there because I have scheduling times to do my to-do list on things that I have to do this week. Um, close those loops, stop the procrastination, get rid of them off my plate, that type of stuff. Um, so yeah, so it's been an awesome day, nothing too strenuous. It's been a nice relaxing day. Um, and of course I got lost in the rabbit hole of genealogy as normal um, and then sort of came up when it said it's 19 hours and my phone had buzzed a couple of times since then too and so I was sort of like oh and then I realized I left my water bottle over there so I've been sitting here for two hours two three hours two or three hours I've been sitting here working on genealogy with no water and I need to go get some the throat's getting a little dry and a little sore so got to go lubricate the vocal cords so go have a super fantastic sparkling serenity sunday evening and um, let us know in the comments below what you did today to relax and we will catch you guys back here tomorrow morning for magic monday so heck on it up